Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on Nikita Lions, Ready to Pounce. Uh, Nikita is the chase this month, and she is a lady technician. I think this is the first lady technician we've had in the game in over a year. She's an aggressive technician, and uh, she's definitely the best tech in the game uh, for the ladies. <clears throat> I feel fine saying that. Um, we'll get to the preview in just a minute. Um, let's check out her links. NXT link, any color moves start with one more MP. Modern era gems do 5% more damage. And then the stock ready to pounce gear. Trainer, she's really good for one of Wes Lee's builds. Uh, Snowfall gems do 75% more damage. Purple moves start with two more MP. That's at 26k. Um, I basically have two build sets for you guys, but both set up with two different sets of trainers so it's going to be four moves i will run them both without plates and then both with plates um a little bit of housekeeping here i won't be using either of the mp steels they're fine if you want to use them they're both six red mp they both do 694k damage and they both steal uh four mp from each of your opponent's moves one steals green and one steals black so you could use them to load the moves but I don't think they really need it compared to what they do on their own, but it is nice to have if you want to counter somebody hard uh, with the MP steals. Anyway, uh, I won't be using those. We're going to get started uh, after we look at the strap for the preview. Uh, it's Fury 2's uh, Junky 5% um, gem damage strap and then a 200% move damage metal in the green. Um, so Fury 2's with that. Uh, first move set triple green split leg drop finisher deal 589k damage and choose a 7x4 area to destroy uh, 8 mp jumping corkscrew roundhouse kick 272k damage choose two rows to make into leech gems of strength 2000 sorry strength 216k um, those do 2.8 million ish uh, in leech damage when you break them uh, and then German Suplex, 6 MP green, deal 457k damage and increase your green MP by 4. Uh, we will be using a Sheik Plate on this, just not right away. Entourage, this one I'm setting up for some gem damage with the leeches. Um, Steel and Bailey uh, load both of these moves. Um, and then this one loads this one. Bailey's on for the move damage. I like that uh, in this situation because it's buffing all three of them. Uh, then we're using Bailey for flat 12k leech gem damage uh, for the 14 leech gems. And Santa is on there for the flat, again, for the 14 leech gem damages. If you have Austin Theory, you can use Austin Theory uh, for leech gem damage. Um, you could also use Seth for 25% on all of the leeches, those 14 gems. Anyway. Uh, let's get out here. We're going to go against Trish. Thank you, Trish. It's very straightforward. And very quick. Uh, the rows, you want the four rows with the most greens so you can recycle. Um, so make sure you add those to the ones you break. That's a million. This is 1.8 million, and the finisher's 2.3 million in move damage. Easy to recycle because that move fills itself up, right? So it's a really easy recycle. And you can see um, I had it on one or two speed, but wipe Trish out there. And I will run it again uh, with a Sheik Plate. We're going to run the exact same moveset again, though. Just change the trainers up and go all move damage. Except I didn't save that one for some unknown reason to me. But that's okay. Anvil for green finishers do 40%. You could also use Gable 
Uh, and it's debatable. Gable might be better. He's 50% more on the finisher, but you get 100% more on the other two moves. So I prefer Bailey. Plus, she gives the two green MP. You'll see why I care about that when I put the Sheik plate on. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so we're going to hit harder with the, with the move damage here. Less gem damage. This is completely able to be ran with takedown as well if you want to. Um, because you're using flats and the leech gem uh, stuff. So yeah. These rows up here look pretty good. Boom, boom. So now we're doing 1.1 million, 1.8 million, and 2.6 million. Awesome animation on the finisher. Seven million in leech and gem damage. Uh, almost completely wipes out Trish's health. So yeah, really good. Okay, now let's run that with the Sheik plate on and then we'll run the other build with the Sheik plate on as well. And then we'll move on to the next build set. Lot to like here. Cheeky plate. I haven't tried it with the chic plate yet. I save the plates for the preview and play them without the plates when I practice. Okie dokie. And you will want to put the leech gems down first. That's why you want Bailey. Uh, because the other move hits harder uh, move damage wise so Trish has 12 and a half million uh, again we got 2.6 1.1 1 1.8 right so oh which ones do we want I like these two so this is hitting 2.3 mil now And the finisher's now doing 3.8 mil. And we crit, <laughs> so it just did 5 mil. And of course, easily gonna wipe her health with the Sheik Plate. Oh no, we missed it slightly. Missed it slightly. Okay, now we'll run Sheik Plate with this one. And this is without move damage. Um metals because you could run this takedown too i personally kind of like the idea of hybrid for it scaling into uh six star silvers and stuff uh she's obviously gonna heal herself he like three million uh uh around with this as well uh so that's quite nice with the leech healing i did save this loadout Two, 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 eight. Three point four eight. So not that much less, and we get better gem damage coverage. The opponent did end up with more life, though, with this build. Did her best to try and cascade. Okay, so that's the triple green. The other move set is triple black. Again, it's a leech gem build. Uh, and honestly, you there might be some other stuff you could do, but um, it didn't really look like it to me. It didn't feel like it when I was playing. It just seemed like these two the straightforward way i mean you could probably technically work the green in somehow with maybe the sub but it just seems like a lot of effort to do what likely won't do as well uh, more likely would be 
um, using this move with one of the others, but then you're going to have trouble pinning. Um, so there's that, right? I just feel like she's pretty straightforward, and, and triple green or triple black is the way to go. Anyway, triple black. Uh, and we will be using a, a Rhonda's jacket for this build uh, after we do a few uh, runs without. Swinging side slam, 8 MP, 330k damage, 24 leeches to black, Samoan drop, 227k damage, uh, 95,000 bonus damage for every leech gem. Uh, hardcore, if opponent's class is powerhouse, increase your black gem damage by 75%. And then sleeper hold, generate 30 random sub gems, do 367k four turns, uh, remaining gems turn into leech gems. I believe those are also big leech gems. We'll look at the exact number uh, when we're in there. Entourage for this one, we're going to be using uh, Wes Lee. You could also use Tori. Uh, so Wes Lee, leech gems do 75% more damage, so it's really taking advantage of the leech buff move. Uh, and this is the leech build. So Austin Theory with 100% leech and Seth. If you don't have Theory, you can use one of the other two people we'll be running in this one. Uh, you could use Bailey for flats or Zombie Edge. Right? So uh, just mix and match your trainers to make it work if you don't have all of them. Um, anyway, let's run this one. Good. Uh, also super sub it like if you wanted to go Nikki. Um, so like if you didn't have Wesley leveled up, you could run uh, Woods and Nikki. And then if you if you didn't have Theory, you might as well just go full super sub at that point because it is a decent sub. Um, and you could also do that, but then you have a little more trouble recycling, less leeches on the board, etc. Anyway, let's see how hard this one hits. We did lose a ton of leech gems this time. We still hit for almost 5 mil. And 2.6 mil. Um, and that was losing a bunch of leech gems. Oh, I forgot to look at the strength on the sub. Uh, on the sub leech gem, sorry. Doesn't say. I'll have to pay attention when they break and see if I can tell. Obviously, it recycles great. It's easy to use. A little bit better leech spread, I think, here. Easily wipe out her life. It's just too hard to tell anymore. Um, okay. So instead of indexing the leech, we're going to index the black. So we'll use Bailey for 12k uh, flat leech gem damage and Zombie Edge for 12k flat black gem damage. Then we will put Rhonda's jacket on. I changed my trainers, right? I all of a sudden had a brain fart. <laughs> yeah. I'll probably keep way more leech gems now that I'm not using the leech trainers this time. Or not. 
Again, you could use sub reduction. I am also not a fan of that. I never like using those. I feel like two subs doesn't drain enough for me. Still did 2.2 million in leech damage there. This should be better gem damage if they connect. Ish. It's a pretty weak one, to be honest. We didn't have a lot of leeches, though. Any way you look at, with that, look at it without a plate, I'd say it's a two-cycle win with this set, but it's a really easy two-cycle win. Um... And she heals herself, so this is much better. A lot more leeches. Yeah, 3.4 mil. Goodness, with the leech trainers on the other one, that would have been crazy hard. No idea how hard that hit. Can't tell you, sorry. Okay. Uh, let's put around his jacket on. Why not? Of course, this FD makes sub gems give you a hundred percent black and yellow gem damage. It's down here somewhere. There we go. Let's do it. better. Seventy four K on those uh, black leeches. Little bit of cascading. That was a three million, so definitely better. But again, it still looks like two cycle for this one. Go ahead and 2.0 this guy. The second one seemingly is better, like, all the time by a good amount. There's a lot more leeches on the board. That one's... Yeah. Not so great on that one. Missed a bunch of them. And then one more time with all of the leech guys. I think, I feel like if we get a good one where a lot of the leeches are left, we can, you can, you can one cycle with this, but it's super safe. Both of her builds recycle well. Of course, if there's ever a lady leech boss, I mean, she would be nutty. Because of the damage on that. Here we go. That wild card is going to mess this all up. Yeah, there go my leeches. So much for the dream of having a bunch of leeches. The game says no. What? Did the did a technician just dodge? Is that what just happened? I'm gonna have to watch that back. 4.89 million on the leech gem stuff. Oh, this might be the turn one win. We were turn one cycle. Yeah. Stay down. Nope, not quite. Almost.
Like I said, I think a really good one, it would do it, but it would take a good one. And she's going to heal herself up the whole way, too, so... Oh, look at that. Catch me outside, how about that? Alright. So yeah, that's Nikita. I mean, there's not a lot of lady techs. Um, I think her speed is great on the greens, to be honest, even without a Sheik Plate. Uh, I really like it. No active buffs uh, for her. I only have plus one MP for two her perks, so all this stuff was feud builds. Um, ready for feud. Um, I know Bailey can hit hard if you get a five match and get super lucky and if, if, if everything goes right, um, which it usually doesn't especially for feud uh so i think pretty easily uh for me she's the best tech in my opinion i don't think it's that close um becky can do a little bit with her gear and uh uso cap plate but doesn't hit as hard as this and then ronda is okay with the veer uh but not as fast as this and you know veer is a more rare plate she doesn't really need anything um, the Sheik is nice, but not a game breaker. And, you know, Rhonda's jacket is, it's two cycle win either way, most likely. So don't really see, you know what I mean? She's just good. Uh, doesn't need a lot to be good. Yeah, I think, I think fits in really nice speed wise. I would have no problem taking her to six star, uh, after I get her. Uh, so that would be my plan. Uh, six star silver i'm going a little bit slower with the ladies simply because they haven't been needed in events at all um but yeah i think she's easily the best lady tech at least in my opinion i like her a bunch uh got some good utility can do black gems uh leech gems move damage a lot to like there so let me know what you think in the comments uh are you gonna chase her this month i mean i chase the chase every month there's no reason not to it's not really super chase for me but i know some people have to pick and choose so is this one you would choose with first lady tech in like a year i think she's other i mean we had icon beth but that doesn't really count um so yeah um let me know what you think and remember to like subscribe and share because that really helps me out guys good luck this month and uh Finally, a new lady technician.